All right, so now let's understand how SQL databases are organized. It's very important to understand that because once you start writing SQL statements or SQL queries, it's very important to understand the terms that are commonly used in databases or how to browse your database or how to find your data. If you learn that at the start, it's going to make the learning process of writing SQL statements much faster. Okay, so now just to make it easier to understand, think of the following analogy. A database is like your city library. We have in Suitcard a very beautiful library. It's really amazing. I spent a lot of time there. I just like it. So yeah, a database is like libraries. And libraries are divided usually into categories like science fiction, romance, history, sport, and so on. So categories can help you to find quickly the materials that you are searching for. So categories are like grouping up those similar books underneath the same category. We have the same concept as well in databases and we call it schemas or shimata. Pick the one that you like. And of course, in libraries, we have as well books. We have the similar stuff in databases and we call it tables where it contains the actual data. So as you saw in the examples, databases are organized in like hierarchy. Let's see my SQL how they organize the data because not all databases are following the same concepts on how to organize the data. So at the start with my SQL, we have the database server. It's like machine containing software and hardwares in order to run our DBMSs and databases. Usually a database server, it's like high end computer with a lot of CPUs and ROMs. But in our tutorials, we will install a database server at our local computer or laptop, and we call it a local server. Inside the server, you can create then multiple databases. In MySQL, databases and schemas, they are synonyms. So a schema by definition, it is like logical containers that contains similar tables. With that, you get a lot of benefits. For example, imagine you have a big database with a lot of tables. Grouping up those similar tables underneath schemas, it's going to make it easier for you to manage the user, for example, or to manage the tables, reduce complexity. And as well, if you have like two tables with the same names, you could like store them in different schemas. So it's really nice way how to organize a database. Inside the schema, then we will have different tables. Tables are the most important object on the whole database because it is the place where you're going to store your data. Without tables, we have no database. And inside the tables, you will have at least then one column or different columns. I will go in details explaining those tables as a next step. Okay, so now I just want to show you quickly how other databases like Microsoft SQL Server or Postgres SQL, how they organize the data compared to MySQL. So as you can see here, the key difference is that they split databases from schemas. So a database here, it is like the main container, a discrete unit on its own, where you can have logs, jobs, schemas, data, and you can do backups. Schemas over here, it is like a folder inside the database. It's like logical layer containing different tables. In my opinion, MySQL is a little bit like misleading or confusing developers. For example, if you go and create schema, the DPMS of MySQL will be creating a database. So I find it at the start a little bit confusing. All right, so that was it about the database concepts. Next, we're gonna start talking about the SQL table concepts. And if you like this video and my work and you want to support the channel, then subscribe, like, and comment. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.